Well, we've come here to the Financial Conduct Authority because this is really the authority which should be re held responsible for Vedanta's crimes. This has been a, Vedanta's been a London listed mining company for 15 years and they've never been regulated despite all the well documented crimes in this report. Now the, the company's done the final straw of being linked to a corporate massacre in Tamil Nadu and still the FCA hasn't taken any action whatsoever and is letting them now delist themselves from London and essentially run away without being held to justice, without being held to account. So this is not the only criminal mining company registered in London and what we're saying to the FCA is you can't keep laundering these people's money, whitewashing their reputation, you need to actually hold them to account in London on the, for the sake of all the victims of their atrocities elsewhere. What do we want? Investigate Vedanta. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Investigate Vedanta. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Investigate Vedanta. <laughs> We are Tamils um, in the UK and we are here to show our solidarity to the people around the world and as well as in Tamil Nadu. They are polluting the Gulf of Mana, they are polluting Tutukuri. They are being fined by the Supreme Court of India so many times. They are still getting away with so many uh, human rights violations, environmental violations and stuff in India. They are running away from London because of this. Wherever they go in the world, we will be there. From 2007 to 2012, this company was mining illegally in Goa. And all that money, in today's term, it would be like 2.5 billion pounds. 2.5 billion pounds of plunder. Danta is running away from London for fear of scrutiny, and they're being allowed to do so without being held to account. In Zambia, where they have a, another copper subsidiary called Concola Copper Mines, there's now a lawsuit in the UK with about 2,000 farmers who've been consistently polluted by them because they released their toxic waste straight into the local river. They're now taking the company to court in the UK for damages for pollution. There's also evidence of tax evasion in Zambia. So what we're basically saying is everywhere they operate, there's a consistent pattern of operation. Do you think that this is why why they're now uh, coming up with stuff in the UK because the pressure is, is too high on them? Absolutely. They, they, they announced that they were going to delist shortly after the massacre which, which occurred. There were global protests all over the world, particularly by the Tamil community, against the asking for justice for that massacre. The Chancellor, Shadow Chancellor of the Exchequer in the UK made a very strong statement saying this company should be delisted from London because it's a rogue corporation. London City! London City! London City! London City. London City.